Job Job is arguably one of Mzansi's most controversial and explosive celebrities. And him being that controversial means he is bound to bump heads with fellow celebrities. So today we are looking at a few other people who can't stand Job Job. Job Job and Lerato Hanyago fought over the violent riots and looting that okayed last year. Job Job had said South Africans need to let the looters do whatever they want. Let them steal if they want to steal. Let them do whatever because the government has not provided for that. LKG called him out for sending his fans the wrong message and because Job Job doesn't know how to let anything slide, insulted Lerato and told her she should never never ever try him because he has files on her and will drop them if she doesn't stop well lerato was like files you say no problem drop them let's see i am not afraid of you we are both from the lock shin so if you want to dance let's dance needless to say jube jube had nothing to drop so he stopped responding and the fight fizzled out Remember when Jube Jube came out with Ndiko Kele? Well, when he had decided to do that remix, he called the people who he had wanted on the song. The likes of Rebecca Malope, Benjamin Dube, Blinda the vocalist all agreed to it. But something Soweto said no. Jube Jube and his team sent DMs, texts, tried calling multiple times. The phone just kept on ringing and ringing. Imagine! Something Soweto finally sent a text and said he wanted nothing to do with Jube Jube. Clearly Jube Jube was touched and said something Soweto sings like a halot. Hey, I'm a superstar. Let's just call a TV. Something I'll send. Send. Something responded by posting a video of him singing that same Diko Kele song just to annoy Jub Jub some more. But my question is, when did Jub Jub realize that something Ukula Njeng is fair? Was it before or after something shut him down? Why did he want something on the song if he didn't like the way he sings? So petty and unnecessary. Dad, do you ever think about your dad when you look at his... Uh, uh, your think son? about who? My dad? No, 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 his dad when you look at him. Jeez, like I said. This is a Kelly Kumalo show. Yeah. I don't think about nonsense. I live it in the past. Wow. If Jube Jube has a million haters, Kelly Kumalo is one of them. If he has a thousand haters, Kelly Kumalo is still there representing one of them. If he has no haters, then Kelly Kumalo has left this earth. If the world is against Jube Jube, then Kelly Kumalo is with the world because, wow, she hates him with a passion. It was not always like this between them because the two actually dated before he went to prison and they even have a 12-year-old son together. Kelly says Jub Jub used to physically abuse her, introduced her to drugs, killed their first unborn child and ruined her life. He says she is an opportunist, bad mother, multi user and capitalizes on other people's misfortune. They resent each other so much they are willing to settle their scores at their son's expense. Remember when Jube Jube's bodyguards manhandled German that cheetah from a viral Uya Jola 99 episode? Well, Tika Ingliza was not happy with how cheetahs were being treated and called the show fake. He said it was all an act and that he would show the bodyguards who was boss if they ever tried anything like that with them. He said, this show is fake, even the vulnerable have family members to protect them. All of this is acting. Generally, we can't allow such violent conduct. It's very wrong. Let them try it on Mim Vanawam. I'll show them. Well, that rubbed Jube Jube the wrong way. He fired back with the following. I am not sure how to address you. You need to decide if you are a businessman, a celebrity, politician or socialite. My show is fake until I show up where you are. You think I don't have anything on you. Ungansugeli, I respect you and that's as far as it goes. Hi, TK never said anything after that because clearly Jup Jup knows something about TK and his alleged cheating ways. Jup Jup had an interview with Mac G and felt the need to remind people that he used to date or smash Amanda to point back in the day. And the reason why things didn't work out with Amanda was because of Kelly Kumalo. Amanda was like, okay, hold on. First of all, what relationship are you talking about? You basically raped me for two years straight, abused and tried to kill me. And second, I left because you attacked and strangled me. Amanda proceeded to lay rape charges against him, adding that Jub Jub and his mother are thugs who use Muti to get ahead. Amanda says Jub Jub knows he raped her because he even apologized after he got out of jail. Well, he is now singing a different tune and is refuting the rape charges. The case is still ongoing, but Amanda has nothing nice to say about Jube Jube at all. 
So there's three things that I mainly want to address. The first was saying that um, he smashed me. First of all, Malimo, um, you raped me. I was raped for two years solidly. Um, I don't know what Jub Jub did to Kuli Roberts, but it can't be undone shame. In 2020, when people wanted Jub Jub cancelled after shaking things up with Uyajola 99, out of nowhere, Kuli just tweets the following One day I'll tell you about Jub Jub, whatever he calls himself. What rehabilitation? He is so evil, it's like he gets paid extra. Her next tweet said, Ukoshagale ingati, he was wronged. The freaking irony. The last tweet was, not sure who is worse between him and the guy with the horns. I am assuming the guy with the horns is Satan himself. Too bad she passed on before she exposed Jub Jub and his alleged evil ways. Asaban Lovu hates Jub Jub because he allegedly raped her when she was in high school. It happened at his mother's house. He was a boyfriend and she was a virgin at the time. She says the reason why she never came forward with the story was because she was ashamed and embarrassed. Jub Jub's mom clapped back at her for mentioning her in the house and wanted Masaba to apologize. Masaba was like, no way, no how. The last thing we heard, Jub Jub and his mom are suing for defamation of character. Well, there you have it. Don't mess with Jujube or else.